So we're going to show you some deck options that are, some are DIY, some might be professional, yes. but you've got all sorts of options at all different price points. You can definitely do a lot of these yourself. It really comes down to having the right tools, being able yeah. to level, and having the right foundation for it. So in my case, I did, I'll explain one of the products that I use through IKEA, which I'm going to show you later. It was a great option, but I want to start first with something that's really quite new to the market. Yeah. Porcelain tiles for outside. Oh, nice. This is from Home Depot, and the product's called Dura Strata, and they come in some really neat patterns, which are a little bit different, and that's why I wanted to share them with you, because you don't often see more of a wood grain that right. looks like something you'd have inside on the outside. So these are 24 by 24. They can be leveled on sand or gravel, but you okay. can also use a product called, it's just like a, basically a, a, an under mat that slides underneath that helps to do some of the leveling and then you can make sure you got your level and you can do it yourself. But again, if you're using a landscaper, this is somewhat, they can easily implement this in a garden area by the front door. Right. And all of these are great because they're slip proof, they're easy to clean, low maintenance, and the little, little styling design tip is you keep mm -hmm. them nice and tight you don't. You can put little um, little uh, spacers in between, but generally the trend today, even with tiling inside, is to keep your grout lines really, really thin. Try and do a nice, nice clean almost seamless look. I like that better. It's less to clean. Absolutely. And between those little areas, that gets difficult. Yes, definitely. I love the wood grain look. Absolutely. I think that's beautiful. And I think, too, the swirly one, again, it sort of mimics a little bit of granite, so it's got a lot yeah. of wave and a lot of movement. Now, this okay, is, so how about this one? Well, this is a company, this is Teco Block. Okay. And it is a concrete base, so these are, these are concrete. And what's really cool about these is it's, it's using more of a, again, that taking something from the outdoors, yeah. like uh, from the indoors, pardon me, sort of like that checkerboard idea, and putting it outdoors. Mm -hmm. So you can see here that this, is, this pattern is called tux, and it reminds me of sort of a tuxedo sort right. of look, that black and white kind of crisp look. And what I like to use with something like this is where do you put it? So you might want to make an area around your barbecue, just sort of a, mm -hmm. almost, almost like a, a, an area rug, but create it with your stone. What's amazing about this is it's very low maintenance, also to its salt resistance. So a big issue for a lot of outdoor outdoor patios is making sure that no one's going to fall or slip around pools right. or on driveways. Because remember, we have four seasons. We have to be very aware of that surface we're putting down to make it safe for everyone, whether you're, it's aging population, whether mm -hmm. it's young children. You have to really make sure that, that what you're putting down you know, covers off, check marks everything that you're going to need. Right. So okay. that one certainly does it. If this, in terms of price point, we're looking at a, a more for something like this, then? It can be. That yeah. particular one roughly runs you about $28 a tile. That's a 24 by 24. Yeah. This one, again, it's more customized. You might need someone to install something like this. Right. But again, great product, easy maintenance. It's something to think about. Okay, good. Now, this is another product that's quite new, and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's from a company um, called Cosentinos, and the product is called Decton. Okay. Now, I brought two different samples, and there's a huge selection available that looks like calicutta, different marbles, even wood grains. Okay. And if you hold that up, you can see that they're really diverse. Now here's the difference. These do not come. I'll show you, I'll show this one as well, because this is really kind of a cool, I'll do it almost vertically, because this is how it would show. And you can see that this does not come in a 24 by 24. I mean you can get them cut like that, but these come in sheets. Oh, how and big's the sheet? You're big. Oh. Big, like 54 by 126. Like Ooh, we're I talking like slab, like almost like granite size yes. countertop, as big as Shy's probably island. That oh, you know, wow. big, b even like bigger, big even bigger. Okay. We're going bigger than Jamaica, baby. <laughs> but what you can do with this is you get different thicknesses. So this can be used as exterior cladding on a house. It can oh. be used on an outdoor fireplace. It can be used as a counter, and of course, it can be used on the floor. Right. So it's beautiful, beautiful textures. And what people love about this product is that this one looks like a concrete. It's yeah. this total smooth sweep. Yes. And it's very, very grand, makes a real entrance, a real statement, particularly at the front entrance. I love that. And again, it's made of a composite that's used of raw materials used to make your porcelain, your glass, and your quartz. Mm -hmm. So it's even stronger than, dare I say, quartz, which is pretty darn strong, yeah. as is your porcelain. So think about that as, a, as an option. So different, many ways to use that. That's what I like. It's so you incredible. get the different thicknesses. You can order the thickness you want, depending on how you're going to be yeah, using it. Absolutely. I love that. And then lastly, this is what I used on, in yeah, my little great. decking area. It's good old Ikea. The product's called Runnin. They keep it in stock. It comes in this acacia wood style, mm -hmm. or color, rather, or pattern, also in the charcoal 
charcoal gray and there's a lighter gray. These are really super easy to install. You have to level it off. Yeah. I actually put mine right on top of a plywood and yeah. I just and it was a do it yourself project because I literally click 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 my husband and I click click clicked all weekend long. Yes, and yes. you just clicked it all together and you and have your beautiful humongous patio exactly. which is bigger than your trailer. It is bigger. It's about 750 square feet because again, the trailer is about 450 square feet and I thought, you know what? Let's make the outdoor living Summer. space bigger and we can enjoy it good and that's exactly but good price point so easy easy to clean hose yeah. it off little soap and water um, easy to cut you're good to go